John, uh, the Meadows never looks quite as good as when it's full of people who are embracing um, everything that we're trying to do to save our planet and make our city a better place. The first thing I think uh, I need to say as Leader of the Council is that despite the fact we've declared a climate emergency, um, we should all bear in mind the, the little book of the Hitchhiker's Guide to the Galaxy with Don't Panic written in big, large, friendly letters on the front because it's not panicking isn't going to help us get to where we need to be. All of us need cool heads and steady hands in developing up the action points we need to make our city a more carbon sustainable uh, one and to make our planet a more vibrant one and more environmentally sustainability one and meet all of our environmental responsibilities. Um, there's lots of things that I hope uh, are obvious in terms of what the council's doing, in terms of what we're trying to do to try and make our city a more sustainable one, to try and drive down carbon emissions and try and drive up the solutions to environmental uh, catastrophe. The first thing um, I, I wanted to go into in a wee bit of specific detail was transport. It hopefully won't have escaped anyone's notice that we're spending a lot of money, a lot of time a lot of capital on transport investment in cycling infrastructure and just on Forester Road. There's a fantastic scheme out for consultation just now. Cycling infrastructure across the entire city to make it much more advantageous for people to get around through active travel rather than take car and other carbon emitting forms. And also we've taken difficult decisions on things like tram, which not everyone in the park right now might support. But it's a zero carbon uh, on street, zero carbon source of transport capable of taking vast numbers of people around our city as quickly as possible. It's a transport method that will become more and more important to how we address our carbon uh, emissions in the city. And I hope no one's missed the massively ambitious programme for transformation of our city centre because. What we're fundamentally trying to do is redesign that public space that's so important to all of us, regardless of where we live or whether we work in the centre, and try and make it a people-focused, people-centred design so that people are put at the heart of our city centre, not as a through, for, uh, a through road for traffic going east-west or north-south. These are difficult things, but I hope they're things that everyone can support. I hope there's things that people uh, are getting behind and, and I should also point out a few name checks, I know the community Croft from Leith are here, if you've not went and spoken to them yet, please do because food production in this city food sustainability in this city is going to be another key aspect of how we drive down carbon emissions um, from some of the things that we buy every single day um, and they'll have some great ideas about how you can grow your own food to help us on that agenda recycling rates are hopefully going to be going up. We've spent a lot of money investing in recycling facilities and hopefully we're going to make it easier across the city to make sure more people can recycle more. And I know the Remaker are here as well to help everyone reuse more um, and look at uh, up cycling as well. And when we can't reduce carbon to the point of getting to a net zero position that the council's decided uh, unanimously pretty much that 2030 is the target date of when this city becomes a net zero city. We'll probably be one of the first on the planet to meet that aspiration if we get there. But if we can't do that through reduction alone, we can do it through some offset. And we're surrounded by some fantastic offset here right now in this park. Every single tree in the meadows right now is doing its bit to offset the carbon that can't quite be taken out of at normal everyday lives and trees are going to be so important for how we manage our carbon, not only our carbon emissions but the carbon emissions we can't escape from um, and in the last two years we planted 12,000 new trees, that's 7,000 more trees in the city now than there were two years ago, we ain't finished yet, there's going to be thousands and thousands more and what I'd say to everyone here is just look at the scale of people who are in this part right now and think about your own gardens, think about your own public space and think about the ways that you can contribute to that effort because it's not just about reducing carbon, it's about finding the solutions to the carbon we can't avoid. And hopefully if we do all of that right and the city genuinely comes with us, if all of you come with us 
on that journey and hopefully the pressure I feel as a politician is one for quicker change, not one against the change, uh, not pressure against the change that we're trying to implement. If we all do that, if we all go along with that journey, I'm sure, I'm confident that by 2030 we can look back and think, while the amount of change we lived through wasn't particularly easy, it was doable, it was sensible, and we've left ourselves with a much more pleasant city, a much greener city, a much more sustainable city that contributes to the environmental future of our planet. So hopefully in the next decade we can all work together towards that aim and hopefully the work we're doing now is evident that we're trying meaningfully to push towards that aspiration of our entire capital city. Thank you very much.